shroomers. Today I'm going to take you on an adventure to the upper peninsula of Michigan and you will learn how to identify the black morel, Morcella augusticeps. Join me today. The black morel is found east of the Rockies. It is both mycorrhizal and saprophytic, probably at different points of its life cycle. In the upper peninsula of Michigan, it favors white pine and jack pine trees. Also, fires from the previous year. Here I am warding off the black flies, which really slash and bite. You need a bug net hat. Cover your face, people. So this beautiful black morel is a little bit smaller than Morcella Americana and fruits earlier. It's probably one of the first morel mushroom species to fruit. Uh, further south, uh, people have talked about finding them under aspen trees, sometimes with snow still on the ground and no greenery. I was up in the UP at the end of May and these were fruiting. To identify them, notice the sort of vertically aligned pit structure. They are brown and get darker brown with age. They are smaller than Morcella Americana, uh, probably about four inches tall tops. They have a strong earthy, meaty, mushroomy smell and taste. I think they have a more intense flavor than the other varieties of Morcella. Super delicious with steak. These were fruiting in an area that had a previous spring burn, but they really weren't located in areas where the trees had been charred. I saw them gregariously fruiting next to live jack pine and white pine. And just maybe a couple hundred feet away, there might be something that looked like it had been burned previously, but they weren't near it. Just like other Morcella subspecies, black morels are hollow, cap and stem. Their cap joined to the stem with just a little underturning lip. Morcella septrionalis is the other species of black morel occurring above the 44th parallel. So because I was in upper Michigan, there is a possibility that these morels would be that subspecies. However, it is primarily found by decaying wood and big tooth aspen, and I was in a pine forest. So without DNA analysis, we can't be 100% certain, but my guess is what I'm showing you is Morcella augusticeps. The little cabin I was staying at had a kitchenette, and I found a nice lady to sell me a couple steaks out of her freezer. So I prepared my black morels simply frying in an iron skillet with lots of butter and steak juices. And let me tell you, Mm -mm. They turned out super delicious. Happy hunting this spring. Be the...